Welcome back and today we're talking about Fire Force Season 2 Episode 8. So like always, let's just jump into it. This episode starts off with a flashback about what happened 250 years ago after the Great Cataclysm. We see this is a huge wasteland and this mysterious lady shows up and kind of shows the animals that were living there. Uh, she shows them how to speak. She teaches them how to speak, shows them the language. She also gives them the flame that seduces their hunger because there was no food because of the wasteland. And on top of that, she fixes the Amaterasu or Turbinacle, whatever we're gonna call it. She fixes it and then that's why the oasis exists. But once she fixed the Amaterasu, she kind of just disappears. Nowhere to be found again. Now. If we were to judge by appearances only, you would think that this mysterious lady is definitely somebody evil, somebody that's you know not doing something good because her smile is definitely creepy. And on top of that, the way she's dressed with the black robes and her eyes and everything, just kind of looks like she's kind of crazy. So just judging by appearances alone, I would think that she is a, a villain. But now, once we see her talking to Shinra through the Adola link, right? Last episode, she was telling Shinra to protect the forest. So at the very least, her goals seem to be very noble and, and just. Now, we don't know what her end goal is, right? She probably needs the, the Amaterasu to be protected because she's going to use it to destroy the world. We see that the Infernos that can speak in this in this continent, they were saying that they were going to use the, uh, the Amaterasu to create a, a huge blast destruction because that's what it was made for. The Amaterasu or the Turbinaco was made for destruction, not for healing. And, you know, maybe that's what happened 250 years ago. All these different Amaterasus and Turbinaco that were around the world were used to cause the Great Cataclysm. We just don't know. Hopefully we go deeper into that because I am loving the mystery side of the story and we are getting new information every episode. I loved the whole thing about the mysterious lady and what she did 250 years ago. I think she's still alive till this day. Maybe that's why she's talking to Shidra, but that's a whole nother like theory right there. But I do think those Amaterasu, they can be used for both ways, right? You can, they can be used for healing, for creating life like the Oasis, but you can also use them for destruction, maybe to even cause another great cataclysm. We, we just don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, this lady to me, she, she I just don't know where to put her at. She, she's kind of she's kind of crazy, but at the same time, she she seems kind of good. Now the Infernos, let's talk about their goal because their goal is definitely important. They are trying to find peace. We know they've been living there for 250 years, and that has to be hell. They they are living hell right now because imagine being alive or not really alive, but being an inferno for 250 years. Yeah, you're going, to, you're going to want to find peace. You're going to want to end your life the way they're doing it. And the way they're going about it is by creating a huge blast with the Amaterasu. And yes, they're going to kill a lot of people. They're going, because I mean, the whole content is probably going to be blown up and they're going to kill a lot of innocent people. But at the end of the day, they just want peace. Now, my thing is, my only problem is, why can the Fire Force be like, well, if you want peace, we got we got somebody that can pray for you and then we will send you your way we, we would you know tell you right and then you will be on your way if that's what you want if that's truly what you want you just want peace then don't put up a fight don't blow up the amaterasu killing you know however many millions of people live on that continent but just go out peacefully right you want peace go out peacefully we will send you your way uh, that's not the way they're going about it uh it looks like that main uh, Inferno wants more followers, so he does have a little bit of greed with him. That's why he wants to blow up the Amaterasu. He wants to be able to not only send all the Infernos back in peace to heaven or whatever the he is he wants to do, but he also wants to get more followers with the people that are going to be killed. So yeah, those Infernos are definitely going to have to go. Now, the ending of the episode, we do see that somehow maybe there was an Adola link between the, the mysterious lady and Shinra. So maybe Shinra right now is going to get a huge power boost because it's going to be able to use the Adola burst and stuff like that. And Shinra was making a good point. That's like, if you do like one of those Adola links or Adola bursts, that's like the enemy stuff, right? You don't want to be using the enemy stuff, especially when there's a possibility that he can lose control once again and start going crazy and attacking his own teammates. But yeah, overall, this episode, I thought it was good. I absolutely loved 
the whole flashback that we got about 250 years ago with the mysterious lady. Hopefully next week when we get the new episode, we learn a little bit more because I definitely am intrigued in the story and where it's heading. But yeah, like always, let me know what you thought of this episode. Go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.